So here's my center flap hinge that I've shown before. It's got a cracked rib, and I think it really happened in storage because that's what happened. It's a side load to the hinge point. I think that's what broke it. <clears throat> but this thing is a bitch because, um, you know, first you've got, you know, the hinge onto the rib. Um, but then you've got this doubler on the bottom, which is riveted into this rib uh, for some strength, you know, since it's the center flap. Uh, then you come up to the top and there's a doubler here that ties the, the tail rib you know, into the main wing rib. So there's a doubler in between there um, with a bunch of rivets, you know, going through this way. Uh, and then in here, there's another stiffener that comes back here that's riveted to this rib. And it goes through the spar. There's two in the spar and one way up in here. And I don't even know how the hell they bucked that because, you know, this rib doesn't have a hole big enough. They must have, like, used a... A thing that went in there and, and bucked down on it because it goes through the rib on the bottom. Um, <laughs> there's just a ton. I think I counted 36 ribs. These are <clears throat> these are part of a another reinforcing strip back here too. And this is not attached to this piece. It's just doubling up the rib right here. Uh, I think I cut like 38, ri 38 rivets. And I'm telling you, a lot of them are gonna be a real bitch to get to, to drill, unless I have an angle drill, which I don't. Um, and you gotta cut the lightning hole. The good thing is I've got another, I've got another rib here that I can, I can use if I can get this one out. Ah, but it's going to be a lot of work, like, um, you can see the rivets under here that I got to drill out because that's the connector between the wing rib and the tail rib behind this bar and this doubler right here. So yeah, a little bit of work. So here's today's progress. Um, I got the flap hinge off. I got all the rivets uh, on the bottom of the rib off. And I got the backing plate. Uh, there's a reinforcing tab that goes in here. I got that off. <clears throat> I got the big piece um, that runs down here off. So the rib is almost ready to come out. But the problem is right now is I've got these three these three rivets right here, one on top of the spar, and then about seven up through here that I can't get in with my drill, so I'm gonna need an angle drill or something to uh, drill those out, because it's too difficult from this side, too. So, uh, man, bucking all these things is gonna be a joy. Um, I might do some cherry rivets. Uh, some blind rivets here, you know, to help too. But it's almost out. And show you what we got over here. We got our replacement rib here. And reinforcing. Of course, we got to clean all this stuff up. Uh, reinforcing uh, piece that goes there. And of course, this is the flat pinch. It goes on the other side, like that. And. Uh, than this piece too that's gonna go up here. So we're getting there. Be glad to have this piece done, then I can go ahead and strip this wing and get it prepped. And by that time, the fuselage should be back and then we can start working on the fuselage and put the wings away for a while. I'm looking forward to that. So we're almost there, just got a few rivets here that, uh, sorry, a few rivets down there that I need an angle drill to uh, get at. So that was today's progress.
Okay, in today's saga, we have, um, I've taken a old rib, sort of like this one, and refurbished it, cleaned it up, primed it, um, and that's going to be the new rib for the flat panger. Uh, cleaned up all that kind of stuff, but like anything, when you put two pieces from separate airplanes together, nothing matches. So a lot of the hard work was getting this doubler uh, fashion so that um, I can hang everything. Uh, right now everything's just held with Clecos because what I wanted to do is put the flap on and just make sure that the flap um, operated right, which it does. It's nice and smooth. The alignment looks good for the hinge um, along with the inboard um, and the outboard hinge there. So. That was today's thing, was make sure that everything is lined up properly before we start riveting. Uh, and that'll probably be the next thing. It's gonna be a big challenge, cause down in here, it's really hard to get, uh, to be able to buck in here. So I'm probably gonna do some cherry max through there. Um, these back here I can get to both sides so I can buck those pretty well. But um, they were making progress so at least we don't have <laughs> this broken, you see the crack there. Um, plus there was a little bit of corrosion, you can see that in there. So that all got cleaned up on the flat hinge. And, I think we'll be good to go. I'm happy to see this operating properly. So, a good repair coming along.